right, let's get real. The GNOME versus KDE Plasma debate in 2025 hasn't cooled down one bit. GNOME keeps pushing its sleek, minimalist workflow. It's distraction-free, smooth, and elegant, especially under Wayland. The interface feels polished, modern, and perfect for people who just want to open their system and get to work without fiddling with settings. But GNOME still has that take-it-or-leave-it vibe. Customization is locked behind extensions, and those tend to break every few updates. It's stable, yes, but rigid, especially for users who like control over their desktop. Now on the flip side, KDE Plasma 6 is a complete powerhouse. It's fast, incredibly flexible, and visually stunning. You can customize nearly everything. Panels, widgets, themes, window effects, all built right in. The new version under Wayland runs smoother than ever, and its memory usage is surprisingly light. Plasma feels like the Linux desktop for tinkerers and power users, or anyone switching from Windows who wants something familiar, but more advanced. Still, that flexibility comes with a cost. KDE's endless options can overwhelm new users, and sometimes tweaking too much can lead to weird bugs or inconsistent behavior. It's the price you pay for freedom. So, what's the brutal truth? Gnome is the minimalist perfectionist, made for focus and simplicity. KDE is the creative powerhouse, built for customization and control. Neither is better, they're just built for totally different people. If you want a clean, no-nonsense desktop, go Gnome. If you love experimenting and personalizing everything, KDE Plasma is unbeatable. In 2025, both are faster, prettier, and more stable than ever. But your choice says more about how you like to work than which one's objectively best.